Hi guys, got a bit of time on my hands, so I've spent a bit more time on this little hovercraft that I've been working on. In the previous episode I've been trying to use a couple of vents on the side here to give it steering. I had a flap on there opening and closing so that the air came out the front and pushed it round. Well, that wasn't very effective so I've given up on that idea entirely. So we've still got the WL Toys V911 combined receiver and servo unit there. Now I've got the push rod just going straight through to the back here with an ordinary rudder. So we've got a vent at the back there so the air goes down into the plenum chamber as I understand it's called. Uh, some of that air comes out round the sides here to fill up this area and it creates a bit of a wall of air all the way round which is supposed to be more efficient and some of it is coming straight out the back here so that the rudder can point it in different directions. So if I connect up the battery, turn on the receiver, uh, transmitter, that always helps, doesn't it? Okay, we're synced up. So we've got normal rudder control. Obviously we've got no reverse, so we can only go forwards, which means when I try it in my kitchen here, we're going to get stuck against the wall as usual but we should be able to go forwards. So we'll put it on the kitchen floor and see how we do. No idea if we've got enough space to turn it round, but we'll see what we can do. Like I said, I get stuck against the wall. <laughs> no, I'm not going to free it, am I? No, I'm going to have to go and move it. Stuck behind the camera now. Looks like I could do with a bit more right rudder. Let's see if I can adjust it. Right, I've adjusted my throws a bit, so we'll try again. stuck.
keep getting stuck over on the right hand side but I think that worked so I'd call that a success just a bad pilot there's always somebody who's going to ask does it work on water well we're in my bath here which is not enough space for it to turn round you saw the turning area that it needed downstairs in the kitchen same problem if it gets stuck against the wall then I can't turn it you may notice I've put a big spike on the front Let's see if I can reach it that was just to try and stop it getting stuck on the wall when it went head first because at least now we can turn it whereas when it hit a wall with the flat front of it I couldn't get it to move at all so that makes it turn easier when it hits head on but when it's side on against the wall or the side of the bath I just don't have enough um, side thrust to get it off again but there you go it does work on water sometime or other I might test it on a big puddle somewhere but we can actually see it works as usual, the details will be in the video description.